Okay, welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be doing a Design Spark mechanical tutorial and I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the structure tree. Okay, we're going to go ahead and open up Design Spark. We're not going to be creating anything specific. Uh, this tutorial is just to show you uh, that you can use the structure tree and how to use it. Okay, we're going to go ahead and create a new design. I'm going to create this in millimeters. So you'll notice when we open up the first thing you're going to get here is the design to and the structure. So uh, once we create a new object, we'll go ahead and create a circle. Uh, we'll do this 30 millimeters just to be specific. Um, now when we go to extrude this, we're going to come over here and click no merge. So now our first part here is going to be, let's undo that. Let's click this face, make sure no merge is on. And then we're going to type 4. All right, now we're going to click off of it. Now we have the first object here is going to be, uh, we could call this top. So we're going to go ahead and click in the solid here in the structure tree, and we'll call this top part. And now we're going to click off. Now we're going to go ahead and create another part. And we'll create a part here in the center. We'll make this six millimeters. And then we're going to go ahead and go to pull. But we're going to make sure the no merge is on. And we're going to click and drag this up. For some reason, I'm not getting a, another, I'm not getting an additional part. I should, what should be happening here is I should get, with as long as the no merge is on, it shouldn't merge it with this. But for some reason, it looks like it. It looks like it is merging it together. So we're gonna have to figure out what's going on with that. Okay, select no merge. Okay, you got top part. Looks like it's. Looks like it's not doing what I'm supposed to. It's being Design Spark Mechanical Finicky. That's what I like to call it. Now, normally what I've been having to do is to move this stuff up. Uh, so we'll go ahead and move this however far we normally were going to extrude it. So we'll go move. Um, let's just type in move. Let's type 20. Okay, now we know that it's up there 20. So now it created another another object. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and go to pull. We'll go ahead and go no merge. Make sure that's highlighted. And then we're going to pull down to here, this face. Okay, so now we have a second part in there. So we have the top part. Now we're going to go ahead and double click in there. We're going to call this the pin. Okay, so this is how you're starting to use your, your your structure. So now we have a base here, the top part. Then we have a pin. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's pan down on this. We're going to go ahead and create another part. So we'll go ahead and click there. We'll do a Control C on the keyboard and a Control V, which is a copy and then a paste. And we're going to go ahead and move this up. We're going to move it up uh, 12 millimeters. Okay, now we're going to move it over 12 millimeters. Um, then we're going to go ahead and uh, rotate it 40 degrees, I guess would be good. Okay, so now we're going to click off of it. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and uh, select this part here. We're going to go fill. Okay, now we're going to come over here to blend. And we're going to make sure we have no merge on. And then we're going to blend this part to this part. Okay, and then we're going to come down here and check the rolled segment. Or actually, let's make this a rotational blend. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and check the checkbox. Okay, so now we have, this is our, our uh, structure tree starting to take shape. We have a top part, we have a pin, and then we have this solid here, which we're going to name uh, 
going to name curved part. Okay, so now we have three items in our structure tree. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, we'll put some circles in here. So we're going to go ahead and create one circle. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and select that circle. Now we're going to go to move and then we're going to create a pattern and then we're going to move this to the center doesn't seem to want to move let's go there let's go click there create pattern let's move this to the middle grab that blue I'm just going to dial this in to a count of eight and then we're going to go ahead and um, select the click off okay so now we have our pattern there so now this is our what our tree is starting to look like we have top part we have a pin we have a curved part and then we have our pattern here so we're going to go ahead and extrude these up okay let's go ahead and extrude that three millimeters up so now you have your pattern. Now it looks like it got rid of my. Let's undo that. Okay, before we do the pull, we're going to do no, no merge again so we don't destroy our tree. And then what, our structure tree. Now we'll pull this up and then select the click off. Okay, so now we have our we have our top part, our pin, our curved part, and then our pattern. So we're going to go ahead and rotate that. Let's create another part. So we'll click on this part here, do a control C, control V, we'll grab our move tool, we'll grab the blue, we'll move this down. Um, now we're going to go ahead and uh, select the click off. We're going to fill this. And then we're going to do a pull where we're going to come over here and hit the new merge. We'll pull that. Okay, now we have another solid. So we're going to go ahead and click on the tree there. Just do two little clicks. So we're going to call this bottom part. Okay, now we'll click off over here somewhere. Okay, so now you have bottom part, you have a curved part, you have the pin, you have top part. Uh, so this is how you would start to do your, your, your structure tree. So the nice thing about that is that uh, each one of these parts can be can be selected in the structure tree. So if you want to move the bottom part, you just have to click that there, go to move, and then make your uh, adjustment. And, you, and your curves also are going to be in there. They're going to be saved inside of your curve folder. So wherever there's a curve, you're going to have it in there. But don't need that one. We can get rid of it. Okay, so now um, we can go ahead and uh, we'll just go ahead and create one more one more part so that we can have in the structure tree. So we'll go ahead and select there, do a copy, Control C, Control V. We'll go ahead and move this up to about there. Uh, we'll go to pull, go to scale. See if we can scale that. No, I don't think we can. Let's go ahead and let's create that ring there. We'll go ahead and pull. We'll go to no merge. And we're going to pull this out. Okay, so we have a ring here now. So we're going to go ahead and go to the solid that I just created. A couple of clicks in there until it, until it highlights. Now we're going to call this ring. Okay, so this is our ring. Now we can go ahead and spin this. So this is our part here. And we can go ahead and make this a little bit, pull that a little bit more. So now every part kind of looks like this. And now this is your structure. This is your structure tree. Now what you can do, um, if you're working on a particular part in this, uh, with this part here, you can go ahead and turn this stuff off. So to do that, you just take the check off. So if you wanted to say work on just this part only, 
uh, you can go ahead and uh, check on each one of these and it's going to turn off your part and then you could go here to your curves and turn all those off as well so now the only part that you have is this part here and you can go ahead and work on that and then when you're ready you can turn these parts back on now you have your part again okay so that's going to be a short tutorial on how to use your the design spark mechanical uh, structure tree um, you're going to have all your parts here and you can quickly identify what which part is which by right mouse clicking and there's a uh, option under there i'm going to try to find it uh, where is that attach view let's look oh locate in structure tree so you know that's the top part now if you go right mouse click here and do the locate in structure tree it's going to go to the bottom part and then this one here locate in structure tree that's the ring and then to select them you just click on them go to the move and then you can do whatever you need them to do move them around um, you can also uh, change the location of these by clicking and dragging so you see that if we wanted that ring to be on the top you go ahead and click on it drag it up here ring is right there now so now you have all your parts and they're uh, you can organize them as neat as you want in the uh, structure tree okay that's going to end today's tutorial on how to use the design spark mechanical structure tree and how to actually, when you go to pull, how to select the no merge so you'll actually have a part up here. If you don't select no merge, um, all of this stuff is going to be uh, consolidated into one part. Okay, uh, thanks for watching.